hello everyone i hope you all are doing fine okay today we have come with one more new concept that is control in carbonyl condensation we have discussed retrosynthetic analysis of 13 dicarbonyl compounds and in that we have discussed one 13 dicarbonyl compounds alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds and beta hydroxy carbonyl compounds when we are doing retrosynthesis of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds or beta hydroxy carbonyl compounds there is no problem when we are doing the retrosynthetic analysis but when we do the synthesis of this molecules then there arises a problem so where is the problem during the synthesis of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds and beta hydroxy carbonyl compound then what is that problem so we should know the problem okay that is one is chemo selective problem and one more is regio selective problem as we know what do you mean by chemo selective problem now i will give you i will take an one example this is an alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound so those who have not understood the disconnection of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound and beta hydroxy you can just understand by this example so alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound can be disconnected first we do the fgi that is fun functional group interconversion that is dehydration that means when we do the beta hydroxy carbonyl dehydration we will get alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound now what will happen at the beta position this is carbonyl group this is alpha position and this is beta position now at this position there is an oh group now it has become what beta hydroxy carbonyl compound so first whenever we are taking alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound we are converting it into beta hydroxy carbonyl compound so for this beta hydroxy carbonyl compound where we are going to disconnect as we know we disconnect here right when we disconnect here this carbon is getting what carbonyl carbon is always positive this will be negative and this will be obviously it should be positive so we get two synthons that is ph ch2 c double bond o o here ch minus and here it will be this is one synthon this is one synthon so there are two synthons we are getting one and two okay these are synthons now what are the synthetic equivalents for this now here minus is there just add one hydrogen you will get a compound so this is one synth synthetic equivalent of this synthon and the synthetic equivalent of this synthon is a simple aldehyde okay we have know this but but we here we come across chemo selective problem so here we come across chemo selective problem now retrosynthesis there was no problem now when when i want to do the synthesis when i want to do the synthesis synthesis which compound is to be enolized either one or two now what will happen now first problem we'll discuss chemo selective problem now what do you mean by chemo selective problem now here there are two alpha carbons okay first we'll discuss here this is ch3 here it is carbon and ch2 yes or no and this is one ch3 now chemo selective problem in chemo selective problem which molecule is to be enolized whether you are going to enolize this molecule or this molecule so that is chemo selective problem now we are in some confusion whether to enolize this and see one one should be one should act as electrophile and one should undergo enolization so we are we are in confusion whether to enolize this compound or this compound okay so this is a chemo selective problem we need to solve it okay later we will understand now what is regio selective for problem suppose now i i consider this this molecule to enolize now i want to enolize this molecule okay now enolization means what now here if you take here if you take this molecule enolization process ph ch2 okay this is two hydrogens and these are two hydrogens which th this is one center which can be enolized and this is the other center where we can do the enolization now what is the regio selective problem now i have taken one molecule now i want to enolize this molecule now again I, i will come to one more confusion whether to enolize by this carbon side or the carbon which is having on the phenyl side 
okay now if i remove this hydrogen what i will get i will get this as the structure if i remove if i do the enolization at this step i will get such structures but when i do the enolization at this pla this place when i do take the hydrogen of this carbon then i will get this product but which is to be considered whether to do enolization here or here that we consider by the taking the stability of the synthons stability of this compounds whether they are thermodynamically stable or not do, uh, considering that we are going to do the regio select we are going to solve the regio selective problem i hope you have understood so what is the alpha what is the disconnection of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound what is the disconnection of beta hydroxy carbonyl compound then we are coming across two problems when we are doing retrosynthetic analysis there is no problem but when we are doing synthesis there there arises some problem that is chemo selective problem and regio selective problem what is chemo selective problem whether to enolize compound number 1 or 2 okay that is called as chemo selective the choice is between the two reactants okay whether to enolize reactant 1 or reactant 2 now what is regio selective problem in one reactant in a one single reactant there are two pl two places where enolization can be done this is known as what regio selective problem so this is what a basic okay introduction now how to come across this problem now how to control this problem so that is what we are going to study then how to control chemo selectivity and regio selectivity now some molecules where we can avoid by taking the compound which can give you the same reactants now suppose take this molecule this is an alpha beta unsaturated molecule do fgi that is functional group interconversion dehydration what is dehydration when we come to come from this step to this step we need to do dehydration okay we get beta hydroxy carbonyl compound okay when i do 13 dio that is 13 disconnection i will get two synthons which are which are those these these are the two synthons and what are the synthetic equivalents for this this is the synthetic equivalent for this this is the synthetic equivalent that is acetone both the synthetic equivalent are same now in this case is there any uh, chemo selective or regio selective problem arises now hence both the is chemical equivalent are same there is no chemo selectivity both are same so you can enolize any one that molecule only right so there is no regio selective problem also because both the places are having similar ch3 atoms because the molecule is also you can see here we can avoid both chemo selective problem as well as regio selective problem now what is the second case use a compound which cannot enolize now in 1 and 2 okay there are two here in the in the case this what happened two mole now this is retrosynthetic analysis later you need to write synthesis so what is synthesis two moles of acetone you take in presence of base you will get a target material this is the target material now next now one more example i will take it's a type of 13 dicarbonyl disconnection if i take this as a target molecule this is 13 dicarbonyl disconnection it is in the ester form okay when i do the disconnection here what i will get these as the synthons and these are the synthetic equivalents that is this is ketone and here plus is there right now i will add a such group which cannot be enolized now here if i replace this now this compound if you take here you don't have any uh, hydrogen alpha hydrogen to enolize hence this com compound only cannot be enolized so this this one will act only as electrophile or else oet can be replaced by any of the halogen or it can just be replaced by a hydrogen so anything you can do out of this three where they cannot undergo enolization because they don't have alpha hydrogen or 
alpha carbon carrying the hydrogen is missing so this cannot be this cannot be the second reactant cannot be enolized so only first reactant can be enolized and second reactant will act as the electrophile hence the reaction between 1 and 2 now how the synthesis this ketone will undergo enolization and this will go and attack to the first one this this is a electrophile and in presence of base you will get a target material so these are the two ways how we are going to control the carbonyl condensation so here it is easy first case uh, disconnect in such a way that you should get two same reactants okay second case what use compound which cannot enolize that means a compound which cannot carry alpha hydrogen atom now one more very important thing comes is use of specific equivalents enol equivalents so there are two things we can tell i will i can tell you here one you can you should remember wittig reaction and one more is reformatsky reaction now what is wittig reaction so whenever a, it is a, it is used for alkene synthesis yes or no wittig reaction is used for alkene synthesis now what is happening here is now this ketone reacts with elide now what is elide elide is a, com a compound which is carrying a plus charge on the hetero atom and a negative charge on the neighboring carbon atom when it reacts with when both of them react what we get is alkene okay this reaction you should know now whatever the product is there that is our target molecule yes or no now here i will give you one target molecule this is our target molecule now this target molecule is nothing but it is a alpha beta unsaturated compound so whenever there are alpha beta unsaturated compounds are there what i am going to do is i will do dehydration and getting converted them into the beta hydroxy carbonyl compound okay this is beta hydroxy carbonyl compound now what happens here is a ketone now disconnection takes place here a compound is formed here then here negative charge is there this is the synthon okay this is plus charge c o h this will be plus charge here for this this is the synthetic equivalent and for this the other part ch minus c o o r now here simply don't take a synthetic equivalent by adding a hydrogen or something else you should you can take some specific enol equivalents okay some specific enol equivalents that is what we are taking is a wittig reagent that is r3p plus if you attach this then also you can generate an enol an anion you can generate here yes or no so we are taking a specific enol equivalent then this will react with the this electrophile so here it will undergo enolization or it can act as a nucleophile and this will going to act as a electrophile so when you react this with this you will get what molecule so how is the synthesis c double bond o plus r3 p plus ch minus c double bond o o r so what do you get here is c double bond ch single bond c double bond o and what do you get o r so this is our is is that our target molecule yes this was our target molecule understood now what is the reformatsky reaction alpha haloester so this is a halogen present at alpha carbon so this alpha haloester when react with ketone in presence of zinc we get this compounds this is our target molecule we have get we have got beta hydroxy carbon ester here it is okay now take this as a target molecule again disconnect now it is directly it is a beta hydroxy carbonyl 1 3 now 1 3 disconnection directly you can take and you can make a two synthons now for this what is the synthetic equivalent many times we have come across this so without thinking you can write it as a acetone so there is no problem okay now here for this we should instead of taking simple 
molecules we can take some specific so that is what so here simply adding hydrogen is not that good okay so i avoid taking simple uh, this one what reactant so what i will do at this position for this carbon i will take a br so okay for this carbon i will add a br you know br2 is also what it will give you br plus also br minus also so this is also possible yes or no so here same thing happens in reformitsky reaction hence how is the synthesis carried on this br c double bond o or okay now here what happens is when it is treated with zinc along with the acetone now this acetone acts as what it acts as a electrophile now this br will go a minus charges will charges developed and this electrophile will come and attack here and you will generate a target material i hope you have understood yes or no now this is what the reaction of reformitsky reaction here we are using specific enol equivalents in the form of wittig reagent and the reformitsky reaction so this is what control in carbonyl condensation so i hope you have followed it if you like the video please like it comment it and share it so keep watching my channel for the msc syllabus and thank you